Hi, it's Mel from Adirondack Myofascial Release, and today I just wanted to do a little bit of a product review. Uh, about a year ago, I got this lovely little self-treatment uh, collection of balls from Amazon. Um, it's from Invincible Fitness, and there are a total of four very different balls in here that you can use for your self-treatment regimen. Um, one of the first ones that I put my hand on is this big, I think it's like about a five inch ball. It's pretty firm. Um, it, it actually thunks. Um, it's kind of uncomfortable. Um, I The only way I've been able to use it for myself comfortably is um, leaning up against the wall and doing some of the fleshier parts of my back, like not too close to the shoulder blade, but, but underneath it. Um, it can actually be pretty good there, but it's a little too firm for me for any other place in my body. Uh, the next ball um, is, do do do, what do I grab? The, uh, oh, the green spiky thing. This reminds me of a sea urchin for some reason. Um, this one is also a little too firm to use for too much. Um, I have found that it is wonderful. I put it on the floor in front of my chair and uh, rub my feet over it and I can get some really good deep tissue relief in there if I've been standing on my feet for too long any day. Uh, the next one is another spiky one, although this one's softer. I don't know if you can see, you can compress this one. This is really good um, on my thighs, the hamstrings, the quads, the fleshier parts. You wouldn't want to use this on your IT band, but you can uh, you know, set it down, sit on it, uh, roll around a little bit until you find that spot and it can really be effective to help break up some of those restrictions. The last ball and my personal favorite is the lacrosse ball. Um, nice, firm, small, gets into spots you can't get into with a tennis ball or your usual four inch self-treatment ball. Um, again, my favorite place for this is the top of my hamstring, that, that little space between the top of your thigh and the bottom of your buttock that can sometimes really need a little bit of support. My one caution would be if you're doing this sitting down, um, which is actually the best way to do it, just make sure that the chair you're sitting in has a little bit of a cushion. If you were going to use this, um, I wouldn't recommend using this in a hard wooden chair. That would just be a little too much pressure. Well, um, those are all the balls that are in my bag. I hope you found this review useful and uh, feel free to reach out to me through YouTube or uh, my email address, which will be written below if you have any questions or you would like to add anything to my review. Thanks and have a great day.